In this chapter, we found out that new characters will join the Egghead battle very soon. At the end of chapter 1105, it was revealed that an anonymous crew has sunk one of the marine ships, and with that, Oda left us on another cliffhanger. There are only three options for now. Blackbeard pirates, the Revolutionary Army, and the Grand Fleet of Straw Hats. Let's start with the Revolutionary Army and Dragon because this option has a very small chance of happening. People expect Dragon to appear at Egghead because of Kuma. Of course, everyone wants to see Dragon and the Revolutionary Army fighting the Marines and Saturn, but it won't happen now. There are three reasons why. In Kuma's flashback, we saw that Dragon's first priority is his plan to defeat the world government. He did not try to save Ginny or Kuma 10 years ago, so why would he appear at Egghead to save Kuma now? And Dragon is too far away from Egghead. Kuma has the fastest devil fruit for teleporting and still he has been flying from the Kamabaka Kingdom to Egghead for days. He also has to climb the red line, so there's no time for the revolutionary army to reach the island before the buster call destroys everything. Also, it's not even known that Dragon knows where Kuma was going because he was very surprised when the giant cyborg started running out of nowhere. And this is just my opinion, but I don't think Oda would reveal Dragon in such a way. I expect him to have one of the biggest entrances in One Piece when the time actually comes. Destroying one of the marine ships before actually showing up does not look like Dragon's move for me. The second option is the Blackbeard Pirates. In chapter 1079, we saw that Blackbeard's ship sailed to Egghead. We already saw half of the Blackbeard Pirates on Hachinosu Island, and the second half was fighting against the Heart Pirates. Two missing members are Lafette and Katarina Devon. They are not strong enough to fight Luffy or the Marines, but they are, however, pretty well suited for infiltration. Katarina Devon can transform into a nine-tailed fox. With this power, she can transform into clones of people similar to Bon Clay's Mane Mane no Mi. Lafette's skills are unknown, but he is considerably skilled in infiltration. When he traveled to Marijoa, he easily bypassed all the security defenses of the sacred land of the world government. Later, at Marineford, before the Blackbeard pirates sailed to Impel Down, Lafette initiated the control room to hypnotize the marines present there without being noticed. These two characters characters are currently at Egghead, so there is a high possibility that they are the ones who sank the marine ship. Also, don't forget that one of the members of the Blackbeard Pirates, Van Auger, ate the Wapu Wapu no Mi, a Paramecia-type devil fruit that allows him to teleport himself and others from place to place. After Luffy, Law, and Kid separated, they went to three different islands. When Blackbeard Pirates fought the Heart Pirates, Teach said that he randomly chose this island and met Law by chance. This means that Egghead and the island where other Blackbeard Pirates fought Law are not too far away from each other. With Van Auger's devil fruit powers, Blackbeard himself may arrive at Egghead. Anything can happen. They may kidnap Robin, Vegapunk, or steal Vegapunk's work. They can also target the Devil Fruit users, as the Blackbeard Pirates are best known for stealing the Devil Fruits. Even if Kuma stays alive, he will be very vulnerable, so stealing his paw paw fruit won't be difficult for skilled pirates like Lafette or Katarina Devon. If Blackbeard Pirates get a powerful fruit like the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi, they will be unstoppable. They may even go for Saturn's Devil Fruit. One detail that caught my attention is that a black marine flag has been raised on the destroyed ship. Perhaps this is part of Blackbeard's plan in sending Lafette and Katarina Devon to Egghead. They're hypnotizing and taking control of marine ships. The black marine flags are their mark. The third option is the Grand Fleet. The Grand Fleet includes seven leaders and 5,600 members. Luffy considers them as friends, and they all got Luffy's Viver card. Later, we saw their adventures in cover stories. Cavendish met pirates that fell in love with him and made his crew bigger. Bartolomeo went to one of Shanks's islands and then beat the strongest guy in the port. He also burnt Shanks's flag and replaced it with Luffy's Jolly Roger. Uh, hopefully he's fine. Don Sai refused to become the 26th husband of a popular woman in his country, married Baby Five and became the bodyguard of his king for the reverie. Him and Leo beat Charlos and cut ties with his country to not put them in danger. Jeet, Abdullah and Blue Ginny joined joined Ideo's fleet. They beat the Long Leg and Long Arm tribe, which led to stopping their 1,000-year-old war. Hyreden quit buggy delivery and created the new giant pirates. His goal is to become the king of Elbaf one day. Orlumbus tried to do pirating activities, but ended up helping the poor people that he was supposed to steal from. Bellamy quit being a pirate and became a professional dyer of flags, but he 
still took a piece of Luffy's Viva card just in case. Before their separation, Luffy told the Grand Fleet that if he ever thinks the Straw Hats are in trouble, he will shout for help and they can come to save the Straw Hats. After that, the narrator said that they grew in strength and later caused an incident of historic proportions. If they actually appear at Egghead and cause the Egghead incident, there may be a few very interesting details. It was shown in Big Mom's flashback that Hyreden knows about the sun god Nika. Hyreden witnessing Nika with his own eyes will be a good detail for the story. Sai and Leo got beat by Luchi so they would meet again. Hakuba is a demon and Saturn's reaction would be interesting to his transformation. Also, we will get news about Bartolomeo and Orlumbus' gigantic fleet will fight the marines. In this chapter, we also saw Robin sleeping. It's the third buster call for Robin and she may have already gotten used to it, but it's still very surprising. The Straw Hats are fighting an admiral and one of the Gorosei. Anyone can die at any moment and Robin is just sleeping. We have not seen her for 20 chapters and I don't think she is so damaged that she can't recover. She has been in danger since she was a kid. Most likely she's had a lot of sleepless nights and she always expects someone to attack her but right now while the Straw Hats are in the most danger they have ever been in, she's just sleeping. What if Katarina Devon already used her powers, transformed into Robin and kidnapped her? That's why she's pretending to be asleep to avoid communication with the Straw Hats. I can't find any other logical explanation because we've not seen anything like this before, especially from Robin. It's also revealed that only Saturn and Kizaru are staying on the island. With Kizaru's powers, they can escape anytime, so it's understandable. Maybe this is the perfect moment for Kizaru to have a change of heart and betray Saturn. There are no marines left, and he can clearly see that Saturn is a bad person. There is no way that he will choose Saturn over his friends, especially after witnessing Kuma and Bonnie's emotional moments. In this chapter, Vegapunk asked Kizaru to stop this mess. The smartest character in One Piece knows Kizaru's true nature and believes that his kind side will win this time. The pressure on Kizaru is just too big. The panel where Vegapunk was watching Egghead getting destroyed is just sad. I don't even know what may stop this buster call, but if Vegapunk's whole work gets lost, it will be really sorrowful. Another emotional scene was Kuma grabbing Bonnie before she fell down after the explosion. Kuma becomes more and more lovable in every chapter. We also saw Luffy eating a lot of food. This means that we will see Luffy's fight very soon, either with Saturn or round 2 with Kizaru. The last time he had such recovery, he defeated Kaido. So now we may see another amazing fight and see the most powerful version of Luffy so far. Usually we all know how the arc will end at the start. We knew that Luffy was going to defeat Crocodile, Luchi, Don Flamingo, Kaido, same with other arcs. But in Egghead, there are just too many options. Kuma, the giant robot, Saturn, Kizaru, and the Buster Call. Now we got the Blackbeard Pirates and it may change everything. If you want to see a theory about Blackbeard getting Kuma's Devil Fruit, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching.